let's take a look at the camera settings. Now the camera settings are located below the orange button and that orange button is a button you can use to take a photograph or start a video. Now we're currently on the still images. You can see that above the orange buttons. If I press on that the, above the orange button it's now turning to video. Now that's ready for video. So if I click on it again it then goes back to still images. We've got this on autofocus at the moment. You can see AFC autofocus. So if I click on the middle that focuses the actual photograph ready for to take. And if I click on the yellow button now it's taken a photograph of what we can see in front of us. To get to the camera settings the three adjusters underneath the orange button if I click on those that takes us to the camera settings. So you can see we're on auto here we could be on aperture mode we could set the aperture move the aperture as the predominant we could set we could go for shutter speed and set the shutter speed or you'd be completely on manual and if I click back on the auto that puts us back to auto if we click on the actual camera itself in the middle when we get to this this menu you can see single shot you can see HDR shot you can look at a panorama and back to single shot now that's that looks at what photos you're taking in the Below there you've got different image sizes, 16 by 9 which crops the image a little bit more than 3, uh, three by 2. You've got the image format which you can choose RAW, JPEG or JPEG and RAW. There's no real point in having JPEG and RAW, it just takes up space on the memory card. We always shoot in RAW but you can choose here between RAW and JPEG or both. White balance, this is where you set your white balance. We prefer a custom white balance on both video and still images of between 5300K which is Kelvin and 6400K and we can move this custom uh, here. Now the reason for this is that we would put 5300 on a dull day and work it up to a sunny day of 6400. There are pre-sets on this so you could choose cloudy and then style you can change the style, you can wind back the contrast, saturation, that's all possible here. Or you can, you can customise it or you can leave it as standard or use a landscape or presets. And then the colour here is normal. You can set that. And then over here the, on the gear you can set the panoramas to take raw, photo, uh, raw or JPEG. You can put the histogram on if you can understand what that does see that there and there's various other things you can you can put lines grid lines on the screen non grid lines I like grid lines on the screen you can put a center point on if you wish these are all items to help you take your images and again you can format the SD card here it repeats that one of the earlier menu that we just saw at the moment we're actually looking at still images. If we then go across to video and look at the camera we can now change the video settings to different settings 24 frames per second, 25 frames per second, 30 frames per second, different sizes 2.7K, 4K video, 1080p this, you can, this is where you set up your video. Video format can be MOV or MP4, whichever you prefer. Again, the white balance here, we've set it to custom white balance, is carried through from the still images. And the star buttons again here, you can got um, contrast, saturation and sharpness. On this one particular, we've got a, using a D-log file. You could use a normal or a D-log. We use a D-log M, which is the log file for the camera. Camera video coding, you've got H.264 and H.265. We've got it set for H.265, more dynamic codecs. Uh, and then the image format there, we're using RAW for the 
video. And again, if we click back on here, you can set the camera up for the video, auto, aperture, dominant, shutter speed, dominant, or completely manual. It's entirely up to you. We go back to auto there. So that's setting up the camera. And to come out of that, you can just click on here. Now, if you want to review what you've taken, there is a button at the bottom which has got the arrow on it. And if I click on that, that shows us what we've taken on the SD card. So a little bit of raw footage there, some still images we took a couple of days ago. And they're all sat on the SD card. And if you want to scroll through them, you can see them. You've got the, you can go through all of the different images. So that's how you get to view what you've taken before you leave your site. So if you travel a distance, you've taken some photographs, you want to make, want to make sure they're on the, on, on the SD card in the drone before you move off, then you use this button here. Okay. And that really gives you a background on how to use the Go4 app. This is the layout of the DJI Go4 app when it comes up. If you want to look at where you are, you can and go back to the screen. So it's literally clicking on this and going backwards and forwards for the location. Let's move on to the next lecture.